Today, we'll be exploring an area in southern Louisiana that we're told has a pretty large colony of rough green snakes. A snake I don't get to see too often. Oh yes, here's one. Here's one, here's one. Oh yeah, this big pretty guy. That's a, oh, there's two. Hang on, there's a second one. <laughs> Look at this. What's going on guys? I'm Zachary Gray and tonight we're going to be out here looking for rough green snakes. Now at night time is a really good time to find this snake because they shine bright in the spotlight and that's how we're going to be finding them. Spotting green snakes can be extremely difficult. They blend in so well to their environment that most people pass by these snakes every day and don't even realize that they're in the area. Oh yes, 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 yes. It's a little green. Look at him. He's just sitting on this little oak branch. Hello, little buddy. Have a look at this little guy. This is a baby rough green snake. This is only a little guy. This is our first one so far. And that was actually pretty quick. We didn't have to search too long for him. Now what's really cool is I can actually see a little bit of something in his belly. And these snakes don't eat mice or rats or anything like other snakes. They actually eat bugs. And they'll eat an occasional lizard, but they're mostly insectivorous, which is not something you can say about a lot of snakes out here. Now, as you can see, he was sitting on these little oak branches. And what they'll oftentimes do is sit on branches, briars, or even sometimes thistle. And they'll sit right on top of it during the day. And at night, you'll see them all interwoven up in it, whether they're sleeping or hunting. They'll be doing all kinds of stuff out here. Have a look at this. If I put them up in the branch, have a look at how good that camouflage is. Very, very similar green color. And look, green just like the vine. Absolutely incredible. Look at the little guy, red tongue, yellow belly. They've got a bright, bright yellow belly, which is another thing that makes them easy to spot at night. And they have huge, huge eyes for spotting insects. And they'll be crawling along here, and whether it's a June bug, a moth, anything, they'll go and they'll even shake their head to sway with the wind and as they get close to that thing, they'll go, 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 whack. They'll grab it and swallow it down whole. It's a very, very cool little snake species. And we're gonna leave this little guy here and uh, go and see if there's any more out. Oh. Hi, I got him. I'm gonna you before you go up. There we go. Oh, don't get away from me. No, 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 I see you're a good climber. You are a very good climber. I see that. Come down, buddy. There we go. Have a look at that. <laughs> yes, that is beautiful. Look at that snake. That is insane. This is an adult rough green. Have a look at how long they are. Huge, long snake. Man, that is absolutely gorgeous. So that bright yellow belly from the side there going right up here, and he started going straight up the tree when we shined the light on him. We must have woken him up because he started moving the moment we put it on him. Beautiful, absolutely incredible. And this is a fat, healthy snake. He's got a little bit of a nub tail there, so obviously something did try to have a go at this snake before, and uh, did mess up his tail. Rough green snakes have super long tails. They have a very prehensile tail, and they use it to wrap around things. So have a look at that. See how he wraps it around my finger? and he can pull up the entire rest of his body, which is the tip of his tail. Which of course it is a little bit debilitating, only having that little nub, because obviously he's lost about an inch or two of his tail there, but he can still use it very, very well. Whoop, sorry little buddy. They have to have really good balance to get up in these trees, and the only time they really fall to the ground is when it's super windy during the day, and they're out hunting. Sometimes they'll actually fall down, and that's how I've actually found them during the daytime, is because they'll fall from the trees on a windy day, and then they'll be seen crossing roads and areas like that, trying to get back up into the trees. One of these snakes would live high up in the canopy. They can live uh, 50 feet up to 100 feet up sometimes, but they do like these little low-hanging branches, and oftentimes what they really love is branches by water. Have a look behind me here. That's actually water right down here. There's a little canal that runs through this whole area, and you've got briar patches and all sorts of little stuff like that that sit back there. And that's what they like to go and sit on during the day to heat up, and then they'll go up into these trees 
during the midday looking for bugs and then at night they'll kind of come down to these lower spots to get water and uh, basically just relax and sleep during this part of the day. Really incredible snake and uh, hopefully the first of many to see tonight. This area has plenty of low hanging shrubs and trees that are pretty close to the water which means you're going to get a whole stack of different tree dwelling reptiles and amphibians all within a pretty small space. Have a look at this little guy. I didn't expect to see one of these out right now, especially not in this little area. Hey, little buddy. Whoop. Got him. It's okay, little buddy. It's all right. I'm not going to hurt you. Have a look at this little guy. It's a green tree frog. This is one of our most common tree frog species that we even have here, but I didn't think they'd be out right now. This is actually one of the first tree frogs that I've seen this year. Look at that bright green color. Looks just like a green snake bright bright green and he's slimy he's got slime all over him he's an amphibian he's not a reptile he's an amphibian so he's got to keep his skin moist now tree frogs will spend a lot of their time up in these little branches and they're a very cute frog to see out here now this is actually not a red-eyed tree frog this is just a normal american green tree frog the red-eyed tree frogs live down in costa rica throughout central and south america and uh, these guys aren't as famous nor as popular but they can be found all throughout the southern parts of the united states and he's a real cutie, look at him. This would be almost a full grown green tree frog, but uh, not quite there. They'd be eating little insects and all kinds of little things out here. And he was sitting perfectly on that branch. He was actually really easy to spot when I got my light on him because of how bright green they are. They've got two little white stripes along them and their eyes aren't that bright red like the red eyed tree frog. It's got a golden rim and then that black center. And they see really good at night. So they do most of their hunting at night. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and put this little guy back exactly how I found him on his little branch, and we're gonna leave him there. Here we go. That's not a rough green, but that is certainly a snake. Oh, come here, little booger. Ah, he's getting away from me. This is definitely one of the most common snakes out here for sure. This is a ribbon snake. You'll see them all up in these little vines, same as green snakes, although they're normally a bit lower. And like green snakes, they like to spend a lot of time by the water because their primary source of food is actually fish and frogs. They'd actually eat one of those little green frogs that we found a minute ago. Cute little guy, bright yellow, got stripes all over him. Our version of a garter snake in this part of Louisiana, very common species. Now they're called a ribbon snake because they've got all these little lines on them. And we found a ton of these this spring. I tell you, they've just been absolutely everywhere. So we're probably going to see lots of baby ribbon snakes in the summertime coming up. So really cool snake to find, but we're going to get back to looking for rough greens. Looking for green snakes is totally different than any other snake species in this area. It's the only truly arboreal snake here that spends its entire life in the trees. And I tell you what, these little things are so hard to spot. Literally be anywhere. Might go to the water's edge for a bit and see if there's any of them hanging out right there. Also got to watch where I step because there are water moccasins that can be around here. Now, since their scales shine the second you put the spotlight on them, it's not too difficult to spot them, but in your peripheral vision, they're almost impossible to spot. So I can't be looking over here and spot one over here like I do with some snakes. I've got to be looking directly at them to actually get a good look at them. Oh yes, here's one. Here's one, here's one. Look at this big pretty guy. That's a oh, there's two. Hang on. There's a second one. <laughs> Look at this. That's absolutely incredible. I saw the first one sitting down here, and only until I grabbed him, I saw the other one chilling right on top. Oh, these are incredible. This one right here, a bit smaller. I'm not sure what these are. I don't think that this is actually a breeding pair, but uh, that's absolutely incredible. Let's see if there's any more. Hang on, let me turn my light on. Y'all might be looking at like five of them, and I'm just focusing on these two. All right, I don't think that there's any more. I'm glancing around a little bit more thoroughly, but uh, that is absolutely insane. Two greens. I've actually never found two greens next to each other like that. That's insane. Beautiful, beautiful snakes. Look at them, all viney and just chilling on these little branches. That is insane to see out here. Look at this, I got a pile of green snake in my hand. That is absolutely incredible. This is one of the cutest snakes out here. And they've got those big pretty eyes. And they're just so, so beautiful. 
Now they're not a common species by any means, and that's why this is so cool to see. But they're definitely not rare by any means too. I'd call them an uncommon snake species, more because they're hard to see, rather than that there's actually not that many of them. Because there is a large number of rough green snakes in the United States. They're definitely not an endangered species by any means, not even vulnerable. The thing is that spotting them is so difficult, and a lot of the areas where they live are getting cleared, and uh, people kill them on sight, unfortunately, and there's absolutely no reason to kill these snakes. They're beautiful, they're friendly, they eat insects, and they're totally non-venomous. So, awesome to see, and uh, we've got two more greens with us now. Woohoo! That is incredible. Look at these little guys. The more we search, the more I'm getting the hang of what to look for to spot green snakes more often. In fact, at this point, I'm just trying to see how many I can catch. Come here, little dude. This is a little medium-sized one. Have a look at that little guy. Yes! There's so many of them out here, it's not even funny. Another green. Man, they are just everywhere, and it is absolutely incredible. Here we go. Yep, another one. Another big one. Yeah! Check this little guy out. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Have a look at this. This is all the greens that we caught tonight. And I started holding on to them after we started finding a bunch. Now, of course, I am going to go and let these little guys go in a second. But I just wanted to show you the sheer amount of green snakes that we found. Let's see. In this hand, left hand, we got one, two, three, four. Four in my left. And then one, two, three. I think I've got five in my right. So I've got nine in total, I think, right here. And uh, I didn't keep the little baby right at the start to show up as well. So, uh, including them, that would be 10 green snakes. That is insane. Look at how gorgeous they are. Piles and piles of them. You're not going to see this too many other places, I tell you. And it's just incredible to get to hold all these guys. And they're an absolutely beautiful species. Man, just look at that. And they're completely friendly. They're not going to try to bite each other at all. And uh, it's just a really, really cool snake species. And notice how they'll intertwine and intertangle with each other. Well, just like as if the other snakes were vines. Ah, oh, they're getting away from me here. So this is why I can't keep count of them. I keep switching hands with them. So that is an absolute pile of green snakes right there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time. All right, well, I got to go and let all these go now.